Hello. All right, it is time. I am kind of a mess right now. It's raining outside and my hair got all messed up trying to go get snacks because I'm having a party with my friends. Oh, look, look how cute he is. Such a cute rat boy. Oh my God, so many people. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I just got, okay, I got my hair cut at like a real hair salon and I don't know if it's better than how I cut it myself. Ah. One day you'll have a human boy on cam and I'll call him a fat boy instead. Oh, I know, right? Eyebrows. W what, what are they even? Oh my goodness, okay. Let's have a sharing circle. How is everyone today? Um, I am sad because I got a 71 on my test. Oh my god, do you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, but like, it's thundering and it's kind of spooky. Jess, hello, we are live. What's up? <laughs> oh, I don't know, I just feel so invigorated. Oh, yes. Oh, Thor, no. Yikes. What? <laughs> oh, so many Pokemon out to play. Mm, out of 100. Like, the class average was a 68, so I did better than the class average, but also not great. Yeah, I really hope it doesn't. Yeah, the thing is, like, on the test, I made, like, a couple really stupid mistakes, and, like, you know, some questions, I'm just like, I didn't know him. But some of them, I was like, damn it, like, I could have gotten an extra, like, 10 points or something if I just didn't, if I just read the question more carefully. Which is just unfortunate, but I guess that's life. Yeah, I really hope it doesn't kill my internet. I just, I just, I just want to stream and hang. Uh, what's on the agenda today? We are going to do some master studies. Yes, Jay-Z's got it. Woo, woo. Ah, uh, ah, uh, school, school. I have one week of classes left, and then the week after that are my finals, and then I get to go home. I'm going to see Ariana Grande in concert. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, it'll be right after finals, so that'll be great. In a month. Oh, oh, I can't even imagine. That sounds a little... One day we'll be doing fat boy studies, but we have to be masters by that point. <laughs> oh, gosh. Finals in a month. Ugh. I guess it's probably a different school system, right? So I guess it's not that bad if you started school later or something. Then you're free. Freedom is good. All right, now time to look back at the resources that I was kindly suggested by Jay-Z. Let's put this on the screen and have a look. So... These are pretty cool. Oh, oh no. Oops, I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Haha, <laughs> gotta wait for my finals in the middle of June. Oh, I mean, I guess at least I'll be done because my, uh, my internship starts at the beginning of June. So I need to get ready for that, which is exciting. I'm looking forward to making fat stacks of cash. I'm really sick at the moment, so I might vanish a couple times without warning. Oh, okay. I hope you feel feel good. What this says like these are some loose 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 ish like value studies. Mine are at the beginning of June till the beginning of July. So does that mean you don't have a summer break? Is it like a different break schedule? Cause like our break is from like mid May until the end of August. That's like our long three month summer break. This seems to be like slightly more detailed value studies and like super detailed value studies. I was fine until I woke up, but every couple hours I started feeling sicker and sicker. Mm. Storm sickness test, such a terrible time. It is. I think it's like just, I don't know, the end of the semester, everything's all weird and wobbly. Ah, oh, these are so gorgeous. I hope one day I can like make a study like this. It looks so pretty. We have a six-week summer break in the UK, but that means we have a lot of smaller holidays throughout the year. 
Mine's gonna be July, August, and part of September. Oh, is that your break? Huh. Yeah, we have like a one month break in the middle of winter. And then we have like our long summer break. And then in between there's like one week for Thanksgiving and one week for spring break. So we don't have that many like small scattered breaks. It's not fun when you study a lot and do poorly. Uh, oh, it's raining so hard. I hate that. Yeah, I had to like carry the groceries in and it was a whole it was a whole ordeal. What does it say? We have way more holidays than that in the UK. Interesting. Interesting. I want holidays. I don't really care where they come from. <laughs> I just want more time off. But then again, like, if you have smaller breaks, that means you can't really, like, get into internships, right? Because, like, we have, like, full summer, like, really getting into the job stuff. Did you get snacks before it rained? I got snacks! And then, like, literally, I was, like, pulling my- I was pushing my car out to my car, right? And I was, like, loading up my groceries. And I was pushing the cart into like the cart, I don't know, cart tray, and it started pouring. And I was just like sprinting across the parking lot. And then I had to like run inside. But thankfully, like, I, I guess I skipped a lot of the rain because I was already mostly done. I hit it when I'm walking with my snacks and this guy pees on me. I know, right? Like, I got a box of donuts and I was like, I'm a girl, so I don't have any pockets, so I'm just like, where the fuck do I put my phone? Like, I had to slip it into one of the grocery bags. I don't know. It was a whole ordeal. It's a whole ordeal. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't show this because Twitch doesn't like artistic nudity. Um, in case anything bad happens. Hmm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. The Garden of Earthly Delights. We studied this um, painting in my in academic decathlon. I can't show it because there's like nudity everywhere. Speaking of art on Twitch, did you hear about the artist who destroyed his career on his Twitch stream? I think so. He was saying that like someone else was like really bad and like racist or whatever. Oh no no, I missed someone. If that was me, I'd stand there and enjoy the rain. Oh no 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 no. For some reason, I thought we would have to recreate a master work for master studies, but it's so relieving to be like value study. Yeah, yeah, it's just. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, you're just really trying to like glean what you can out of it, right? Like, we. I no. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like they were attacking some other person, and then. Yeah, and then they were like, weren't sorry about it until like, they were they checked Twitter and they're like, oh, people are angry, let me give an apology or something like that. I guess that's like vaguely what I heard about. Maybe I should like do some Vermeer. Um, like, girl with the pearl earring, am I right? Uh, I find the rain super annoying because I can't go out running. He thought he was the best thing in the world and they, even as part of their teardown, said she's probably autistic. Oh. Ew. Rude. Hmm. That's like, ugh, that's so gross. Like people putting other people down, especially when you're like higher than them, right? Like it's a rule in comedy or it's a best practice that you should always punch up, not punch down. Like you can, like you can joke about people that are more like, you know, like bigger than you, I guess, and more powerful than you, but you really shouldn't be attacking people who are smaller than you. And her art is cute. Yeah, it's not the best, but it was cute. It's a lot more personality than skill when it comes to pop. It doesn't need like, none of this even matters. If like someone's like the worst artist in the world and they have no followers, then that still doesn't mean you should call them autistic. <laughs> what? Weirdos. Terrible. Why do people do that? Why do people why do people do this? I don't know. I feel like this painting is like speaking to me. 
So I might give it a try. Hmm. Okay, how do I get it onto my canvas thing? Creepshow art posted a video about it. it has a clip of them doing it at the start of the video it's cruel it's cruel cruel cruelty and jealousy yeah that's disgusting that's really it's really gross no idea how to do this. I've never done this before in my life, but I am willing to give it a try for the sake of my artistic development. Okay, so... Oh no! I know, right? I, I, I went to the grocery store and I got rained on. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is, I feel like, I feel like these old masters need credit too, even if it's from a lowly artist like me. This is Anthony Van Dyke, uh, Margaret Lemon. Like, that would be like me going to you after your art when you first started YouTube and being like, I'm way better than you. How dare you have more followers than me? Oh, yeah. I try to paint this, too. We're all having a good time here. Hmm. How do I... I don't know how to do this. What's happening? Do I use a hard round brush? Oh, dear. Um... I think a hard round pressure brush would be... I don't... I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know digital art or any other. I think, I think the variable pressure one is probably the best, actually. Oh, okay. Let's see. There's the picture, everyone, for anyone who would like to follow along. The gameplay for Borderlands 3 is amazing. Ooh, Fonzie. I don't, I don't, like, I, tr I don't know what to do, but, you know, I should just try, right? Okay, so, let's see. Like, there's a lot of darkness on this side. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Draw a box. Okay, let's see. I should... Oh dear. Oh dear, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Okay. I should draw a box, right? This is the canvas. Oh dear. I started playing Beat Saber because I found someone who has a VR headset and I was just like, well, time to buy the game. And it's freaking great. Oh, you're right, you're right. I should just... <laughs> oh, is this my new ASMR stream? Ooh. I don't think I should try to copy the box, right? I should just, like... <laughs> hmm. Can I make... I don't know. Probably the least efficient way to like copy a box over ever. Is it is it edgy if I say like oh no. Oops. 
like I want to learn how to draw better so I can like express my emotions and like I have feelings and I don't know how to say it but maybe I can draw it you should use the line tool on a new layer make the box and move it over onto the space to draw oh my gosh I don't know how to do anything this is ridiculous uh, okay let's move this back over here boom and then let's get started no I should like stay constrained within here because why not boom uh, lines, blah, blah. Nope, I, I want a variable pressure. Okay, here we go. Oh, not the layer with the box? Okay, I'm on a new layer now. We good. All right, let's, let's go. Yeah, I feel like there's like, you know, darkness, darkness. I feel like I should cover the whole thing a little bit, because nothing is that bright. I can always, like, erase later, right? So, let's see. Oh dear, this is kind of, like, terrible. Oh no. I don't know. This this isn't really turning. Oh God, what's happening? Oh, oh no. Like I feel like I feel like I'm just doing the thing where you're like, go with your gut and let let it flow out. And it's like it's flowing, but um, I'm not quite sure if I like the direction it's flowing. <laughs> I'm trying my best. All right. Get some hair, which is dark. Like the background's a little lighter. Here's a hand. It's a little dark. Here's some um, sleeves. Those are dark spots. Oh god. I don't I don't know. It's a process and the process is the fun part. I, you know, like maybe if I just keep going at it a little bit more, it'll start to look good. I can't say that it looks great right now, but you know, it's it's all a fun time, and I'm having fun. Are y'all having fun? I I'm having fun. <laughs> all right, I'll just keep going. No big deal. There's like a bright spot here on the forehead. There's a bright spot here on the nose. There's a brightness on the chin, and like right here on the shoulder, there's br some brightness. Maybe you should make general shapes for the person like they did in that Procovid and go from there to the shadows and stuff. Oh no. I... I've made a mistake. I didn't watch the Proco video. Mm. <laughs> I'm a dummy. grocery store so I could buy snacks for my friends <laughs> they're just they just they need my snacks you know like it was necessary I'm so sorry You know what I was going to watch it like um, but then I got distracted I will watch it before the end of this month and I will use it to improve my studies I don't think I should watch it now though because YouTube copyrights gonna like smack me in the face probably probable outcome It looks so much better when he did it. What happened to mine? Oh dear. You know, I feel like it looks better than before, at least. It's kind of... 
This is not YouTube. It is not, but I do upload my stream replays. Because I want everyone to be able to enjoy my my entertainment. <laughs> and plus I like keeping them around. And I don't particularly want to have to like come in and edit out sections because this is going to be a bitch to have to like re-export. Quality entertainment right here, you guys. I hope y'all are being productive. I'm certainly not. Or I am being productive right now, but like my week has been the most unproductive time. I've just been like so excited. Okay, okay. Hear me out. I've been thinking about this plan for my life, okay? So, oh no! Oh my god, I just got two flash flood like emergency warnings. Like, tonight until 9.30, and then, like, it updated to tonight until, like, 12.30 p.m. That's terrible. Why is it raining? What the? What the? Cheek, cheek, cheek. Oh yeah, so like, I was like freaking out a little bit because, oh, I have my sketchbook out in front of me but I'm so sick I can't focus on anything. Oh. What is that? Oh my god, it's my other phone. Ah, it's the emergency alert system! We're gonna die, because it's raining and it's gonna fly. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, so like I was like freaking out a little bit about because like I'm gonna graduate soon and I'm scared of the real world. And I was thinking maybe I could just like take a semester off um, after I graduate. And like hang out here in town with my friends and I can like just do my art full time like like not as a professional artist because I'm definitely not anywhere near that level but like just like take some time to study and um, I don't know see what it's like develop a lot of skills like and have some fun time off before I start my real life I think that would be cool. I do have access to the first floor. I'm not I'm not on the ground level, yeah. I'm on the second floor, so I'm not gonna get rained out myself. Hmm, I wonder if my party's gonna happen. <laughs> that would be unfortunate if we had to cancel because of the darn rain. But yeah, I think it might be fun to like Yeah. Just take a little time to like chill out and whatever before I, like, start my real life. If it, because if you had to do anything on the ground floor, I was gonna suggest doing, and making sure no electronics are left on the floor and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 we're not on the first floor. Definitely not there. I feel like I'd be a lot more concerned. My car is down there though, but there's not really much I can do about that. Oh, that's terrible. Ugh, floods. They like water touches everything and fucks your shit up.
Grab your car and go. Where do I go? The roads are all flooded. <laughs> She had her art studio down there. Oh. Okay, I'll see you, Mero. Have fun with your tea. to do actually I feel like I don't know I, I feel like it looks kind of terrible <laughs> oh gosh I tried my best it's a hair thing down here interested in this though like I don't know I never would have painted it like this it looks like one of the who's from the Grinch this you need to brought up a tad and the str nose straightened out and made a bit smaller oh my god it does look like a who from the Grinch okay so let's see Let's see if I can straighten out that nose a little bit. Oh, you're right. I mean, it's all it's all true. It's all true. I'm not I ain't denying. It's just hard. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know, I feel like this was a pretty good first attempt. Not the best, but not the worst. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, I think I should move on to another one now. But you know what? It turned it turned out pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm pretty happy with it. Mocap, hello, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. We are doing some high quality master studies. Yeah, I guess I'll just go until I finish out my like long ass canvas. That seems like a reasonable idea. Let's see, let's go back to our list of old masters. Let's find some art that speaks to me. <laughs> It sounds so pretentious. Nah. I'm just, I'm having fun. We're having fun, right? We're all having fun. Oh, I can, yeah, I can definitely see a lot of problems now that I'm like looking over at the screen from far away. Wow. Hmm. 
I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't get the this alignment correct. Like, this doesn't line up. None of this really lines up. Oh, I forgot her pearl necklace. Let me. Let's construct that out of some light. Okay, that didn't turn out well at all. But you know what? It's all an experiment. Life is an experiment. <laughs> um. Oh my god, that's glorious. Is that me? Like, in a tentacle? The necklace needs some shadows. Let's see. That does look nicer. It's you as the art kraken. Can I be the art kraken? That's great. I love it. Um, this looks fun. Um, it looks really hard, but you know what? Like, I live for that. I live to be challenged. Happy's been playing that pirate game a lot lately. He's been attacked by a kraken a lot, so every time it happens, I do this. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Okay, let's... Let's copy over some high-quality art. It ain't even a thing. I chose this one because it looked interesting and there's all these cows and um, it looks like fun. Let's write out the name and artist because it's important to give credit. Uh, what is this called? Okay, so it's called, it's by, um, This boy, Thomas Gainsborough. And it's called Rocky Wooded Landscape with Rustic Lovers. Herdsmen and cows. What what a title. You could try painting it in black and white, then going over in color in a layer above, blending modes set to color or multiply. You can also do for the portrait you made. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let's have a little fun. Give give her a try. Okay, so that's the layer with the thing. This is the layer with the okay. So I should combine the layers with all the um, images. Okay, let's see. Alt. Wait, shift click? No. Uh, control click. Okay, there we go. Uh, merge layers. There we go. And then I should make a new layer, put it on multiply. And then I can try to paint some colors in. Wait, I should like turn off my disable. Okay. This looks sort of like greeny yellow. I don't know quite how to describe it, but that's how it feels to me. I don't know, it's not right, but I can't tell what's off about it. This is like, hmm. I'm picking them myself. Um, I don't know how to pick colors.
That's interesting. It doesn't look very right. Maybe it needs to be a little... I think it needs to be greeny, but lighter. Oh, see? Okay. Okay, so I feel like I was right that it was a little greeny. No, I, can't, I shouldn't be... This is like a color picking exercise. I shouldn't really... Oh, you're right. It always needs more red. God damn it. Yeah, I'm trying to like pick out the colors myself so I can be a better artist. Wow, okay. Hmm. I don't know, my colors are always like terrible. <laughs> What's happening? I'm just trying my best. I think it's like kind of a muted pale blue. Okay, I feel like I was right-ish. This is sort of on the money. Slightly on the money. Uh, that skin though. Okay, let's see. It's like reddish, but like lighter. Okay, okay, okay. That looks so much better <laughs> than the other one. And then I need to cover the hands too. It's like red. I don't know, it's kind of dope. Make a limited color palette by pixelating the image until only a few colors are showing. What's covered in the video, blah, blah, blah. Touch pigment in the cover, drop the opacity in the brush. This is so much. This is like stressful. God damn it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Turning down the opacity. Um, I do think it needs a little bit more red, like particularly around the eye area and the cheek area, on the chin, here on the collarbones, on the forehead, yeah, in the eyes. Okay. Interesting. I think that's helping, like on the nose. Nose needs red. The hands are red. She has a problem when she's painting with always doing the skin straight up yellow. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, so much pressure. <laughs> okay, okay. I think it needs to be redder still. Okay, let's get some nice peach tones. Let's drop some of those in here. Oh, look at that. It's like looking lively already. Oh, this person's alive. <laughs> yeah, you want a mid-tone, shadow tone, highlight tone. Doing it straight up in yellow or reddish is fine. Just remember to put the highlights and shadows in. Yikes. Uh, see, now it feels a bit too red. Oh well, I'll think about that part later. Let's go, huh, what's brown? Like brown is like sort of like a dark yellow orange. I feel like it looks vaguely like this. We used this method in my um, graphic design class in high school. The whole like multiply layer, doing the colors thing. Shadows tend to have a bit of blue in it. Also the shadows in the face tend to have a little bit of blue. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's get a little bit of blue. What kind of blue do I want? Uh, this is a blue, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go camping soon. I was thinking it would be, oh god, that, okay, that did not turn out well. I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm gonna go camping, so I feel like it might be really fun to go out and take pictures and do some painting and drawing out in the forest, out in the mountains. That would be dope, right? I just hope it's not like still raining then, but it, sh it should be in a week. Oh my god, like, I have like 5,400 gold on stream avatars. I think you should add a bit of greenness. Oh, you're right, you're right. Oh my god, oh my god. You're totally right. Like, this whole painting has, like, a green undertone or overtone or whatever. Whatever it is. It's, like, all green. Gosh. Um, 
What if I just make this whole thing a bit more green? Okay, I feel like that looks a lot closer now. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Let me see, what kind of brushes do I have? Oh, real oils. Does it actually look like a real oil? Let's, oh, let's, uh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm supposed to be on this layer. Hmm, I guess it's okay. Huh? Oh, here. That doesn't really help. Oh wait, I picked the wrong one. Here we are. Huh? Oh, it's a smudge brush. Oh, this is so awkward. That's so complicated! How do people remember this stuff? Oh my god. Okay, 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 I'll stare at it. And try to imagine. Uh, this is like a shit ton of watercolor brushes. I did get this cute, like, ballpoint pen brush. Why am I, like, why does it send me over there? Hmm. I don't want the smudge tool, I just want the regular brush. I don't know what's happening, why is it doing that? There we go. This is a pretty cute ballpoint pen. Oh wait, I'm on low opacity. Boom. It's a cool ballpoint pen brush. Okay, so like yellowy and then reddy and then there's like bluey around the eyes, reddy around the ears, bluey on the bottom of the chin, whatever, etc. <sighs> okay. I feel like I can handle it a little bit, maybe. Oh, gosh. This is such a struggle. You know what? I'm just going to move on to the next one. I feel like there's a point where I should, like, move on. And I feel like I've reached the point. <laughs> okay. do this. I want to make a rectangle, so I'll just make one the same size. Perfect. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, um, oh no, I don't know how this works at all. not what I want to do. I don't know, how do I make like a rectangle? <gasps> Send me a message on. Okay. M. I don't know what's happening. Shift, click on the image. Oh dear lord, what is happening? Why don't I know how to do this? try to attempt my original technique that was terrible but I guess it worked well enough I do need to 
figure out how to Photoshop more. Control click. Control click seems to like Oh, and then fill it in on this layer. Wait, this one. Okay. Let's see. So much effort. I don't I don't know what's happening. But I try my best. Press shift backspace. Shift. Is that how it works? Shift backspace? Nothing seems to be happening. I don't know. I don't know how to use the line tool actually. I've never used it before. Which one is that? Is that What's happening? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, shift back face does that. Oh, 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 I understand everything now. Shift. Oh, you want me to fill it in with like, I don't know. 50% gray seems to be a reasonable fill color. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Why don't I, like, why don't I know these things? I feel like I should. Either way. Now, the fun can begin. Let's see, okay. I'll paint on this layer. And... Yeah, I should really learn better. Or I, I can switch to Psy or whatever. Photoshop is like expensive F. Alright, let's go. There's a clump of trees, there's some cows, there's some rustic lovers, and, ooh, there's like a forest type thing. Alright, I mean, we're getting there. It's not bad, actually. I like this whole, like, explorative shadow value thing. It's kind of fun. Um, Alright, we're doing it. I will, yeah, 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 I'm losing Photoshop, like, I don't know, like, right now, I guess, like, whenever I, <laughs> yeah, so, I do need to learn something else. I could get it off someone else, but I don't know if I should. That might be a bad. Foreground should be darker than things in the background. Yeah, what, like, that's atmospheric perspective, right? Something like that. Okay, so... There's a rock formation, there's a tree, whatever, it's just like block this stuff in and then I can like lighten and darken and whatever to taste. Let's see. Okay, I want the sky to be kind of light. At least lighter than 50% gray, I think. See, now that feels too bright. I think I need to darken it back up a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's like a problem that happens with this drawing tablet. It'll just like leave dots in places, which is annoying. But you know, it is living its best life for now. I'll just like let it live uh, until it inevitably needs to die. You know how it is. Sometimes life just be like that sometimes. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, darken up the sky a little bit. Because it's too bright. Oh man, this is like 
so much. Does it look vaguely like the original scene? Oh my god. This seems so complicated. Okay, these are the cows. This is like the ground. Here's the rock. Here are the lovers. And then I'll go back in with my black. Ground. Oh, there's a there's a dude back here. He's like the shepherd, right? Oh my gosh. I have to remember to look at the examples to see how they did it. How do you do that? Oh my god. I'm just being too extra. Okay, you know what? I'll 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 try to do it more the way they did. Okay. So this feels like an appropriate move. Like, light, like, exaggerate, exaggerate, right? Let's see. Cow. 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 Uh, lover. Lover people. And then... Reflection, path, uh, some light through the tree branches, yes. And then just like, darkness. Oh yeah, my new phone came in today, but like, I had to get ready for the stream, so I haven't been able to set it up yet. I'm very excited though. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so this is the darkness, and then the shepherd boy is coming out of the darkness. I feel like this isn't a bad approximation for the values. here. Mm. I have here um, a Pocophone F1. I don't know. Let's just take a slight detour and talk about my new phone because like I'm really annoyed and like I feel the need to do it. So this is my phone. My new phone. This is my old phone. It is a top-of-the-line flagship Samsung Galaxy S9, um, and it sucks! Ugh. I don't know what happened to it, but like, it broke, and it just, it turns off randomly, like my Wi-Fi doesn't connect, like everything is wrong with it, and I literally just got it last summer, and like, I'm so annoyed. Yeah, okay, fine. This this phone doesn't suck in general. I just it's just terrible. So, this is my Pocophone F1. It's like enormous. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I didn't do enough research, but like goddamn, this phone is like giant. Um let's See. I don't know. I can't tell which one's heavier because my two hands have different strengths. So I can't tell which one weighs more by comparing them. Like whatever phone is in my left hand feels heavier because I guess that one's not as strong. But it's like enormous. This is like $300 and this was like 600, 800, 900, however much it was when it came out. And I'm sad. Anyway, that's the conclusion.
I suck at taking care of my electronics apparently and I've suffered through this phone for like an extra few months because I felt guilty, but no more. I'm done. <laughs> it's over. How many of you guys are planning on doing some studies for the uh, monthly challenge? I'm thinking maybe I should just like dedicate all my streams to doing like studies. It's not like I've ever done this before and it seems like a good way to learn. Yeah, I feel like that would be fun. Yeah, I hope you get better. Uh, being sick is never fun. You gotta start to do two a week. I really want to, but I don't think it'll be able to happen until after um, my final's over and I am moving, I moved to Houston. Oh no, I forgot to change the display over. Boom, there we are. Good thing to focus when you don't know what to draw. Uh, yeah, 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 right? I feel like that's a big problem of mine. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I wanna draw. And then they're just like, boom! Just make a study, easy. And I'm like, okay. And then I learn things and then like life is good. <laughs> I think this is good enough for like a quick type value study. Let me try to find another one for more high quality fun. Beat Saber though. I don't know. Like, when I first saw it, I thought it would be fun. And now I'm like, oh yes. It is so much fun. I'm really loving it. But I'm not gonna have access to a VR headset soon, and that makes me sad. I've only been able to play it twice. And now it's already gonna be taken away from me. Come up with a slightly more efficient way of moving things around. The landscape kind of looks like a tonalist painting right now. One of my favorite types of painting. All it needs is a red dot for a sun on the horizon line. Tonalist painting. Let's. Oh, this is the um. This is this painting that I. Anyway, tonalist painting. I don't get it. What does it mean? Is it like... It just looks sort of like regular landscapes to me. Let's... Let's look at... Let's look at this. Tonalism is an artistic style that emerged in the 1880s when American artists began to paint landscape forms with an overall tone of colored atmosphere or mist. Between 1880 and 1915, dark neutral hues such as gray, brown, or blue often dominated co compositions by artists associated with the style. During the late 1890s, American art critics began to use the word tonal to describe these works. Hmm. So basically it just means like <laughs> gray and blue. That sounds kind of edgy. <laughs> kind of a hazy, misty, ethereal, dreamlike paintings with prominent shadows and lights in the distance. Oh, I see. Oh, that's fun. I'm down for that. Maybe this is gonna be me in like a week when I go camping. I've never really done like a multi-day camping trip like this before. I want to go out into the mountains and do some drawing like a real artist. Ooh, that'll be fun. <laughs> it's 
So let's see, this is Joshua Reynolds. Lady Elizabeth Compton. All right, let's give her a whirl. Gotta make sure I'm painting on the right layers. Layers are important. Hard pressure, whatever brush tool. Okay, so I see a lot of dark. So I think it's important to capture that. Boom! Oh, oops, that's, uh, that's a bit much. <sighs> All right, dark. Boom! Dark. This darks. Yeah, it sort of forms like this dark prison around this Lady Elizabeth Compton. Indeed, yes. Um, I don't know if it's a prison, actually. It's more like, it's like a calming area. I, I don't know what the intention was, but I find it fascinating. All right, so now we have light. Okay, so one of my friends works in a daycare and two kids had picture day. She told me one of the two year olds had a bow tie and suspenders and I'm dying from cuteness. You can make a layer under the gray box. Right click the layer with the gray box and set it as a clipping mask. Myth, look at the placement. The placement. What do you mean? Oh my god. Um, what about the placement? I'm confused. What am I missing? He's too low down. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's like the head. This is this is the waist. Oh dear. Like, it's like literally right next to me. Like, how, how can I be so off? There should be a little darkness on, on her giant poof of a hair. And then there seems to be like a lot of brightness behind her figure. Hmm. 
top of her dress isn't that dark. That's true. It's true. It's not that dark. Let's see. Should I do that? I don't know. This feels like cheating. I don't know. All this feels like cheating. Show grid. Uh, let's see. That's under preferences. Let's see. be good. Hi, you're right. If you focus on too many things at once, then you lose whatever the main practice is, right? Just asking. Yeah, I feel like that would be true. Yeah, I guess this might be make it easier to just, like, focus on the placements. Although they're not aligned, so I can only use it for, like, vertical placement. I think that I'll have to wait until next time. I don't, I don't. Oh no, my mic stand keeps falling down. Why does everything always go wrong at once? It's never just one thing. It's like everything just falls apart. It's raining quite, quite hard. Oh, there's, there's a thunder. There is some thunder. That's not fun. I don't like storms. Yeah, it was like raining slightly earlier and I was like, ugh, rain. But now that it's storming, I'm even more unhappy. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It makes me mad. So, there's a little bit of tree and rock light happening. Man, I really need to get a tablet. This looks super fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much, it, how affordable it is to you, but mine was, um, what? I got it on sale for $300, but it normally sells at uh, $370 USD. Yeah, I, I hated using my like non-screen tablet. Like I don't, I don't know, I, I hated it so much. I would never try it again. Like, I got a screen tablet and I love it. 
but not everyone is as privileged as me to be able to afford it, so I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. That feels bad. Yeah, I would definitely recommend, uh, maybe not this one, if you're, like, doing professional work, because it does have a lot of kinks in it that are bad. Like, you know, that giant dot from earlier, it's because I don't really know why it happened. But I feel like that, that similar sort of thing wouldn't happen on a better tablet. I need to put more time into drawing before I try to get into digital. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a good idea. Digital is like, you know, you need those basic skills in order to build off of it in digital art. And I don't know, everything builds on top of each other. I definitely wouldn't say that I'm that good. If I didn't just like bite the bullet and buy it like over the summer, I don't know if I would at this point, but I do really enjoy using my tablet. So maybe it was a good idea after all. I don't know, I can't tell, but I, I just, I do really like doing the bottom left of the dress looking lit. Need more contrast like that. Hmm, let's see. How does contrast work? <laughs> let's give her a try. Darker darks and lighter lights to bring out the lighter areas and the darker ones. I feel like it's just hard. Everything's hard. Anyway, let's let's give it a try. I do feel like this part needs to be emphasized. Like the shape, the shapeliness of her waist is getting a little lost in my muddiness. hand, does hand things. Lower the opacity on my brush and spend a little more time. Hmm. Mm-hmm. -hmm. This is pretty fun, I don't know, like, there's something very, um, satisfying about, like, I know it's not my artwork, but it's still very satisfying to, like, see this come out of my brush tip. The ability to come up with it is beyond my imagination and skill, but, I don't know, there, there's something very satisfying about doing this. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to do my best not to zoom in too much because I think people say not to do that so I'll just do what they say since they're better than me yeah I don't know it's, it's hard to tell the difference between like copying and studying 
because I feel like I'm learning, but also, I don't know, I, I, I've never really, like, gone to school for art, like, I mean, I've been, I've taken art classes, but it's not really the same as having, like, a fine arts education, and so I don't really, it's hard for me to tell, like, what the best things are to do and whatever. But I feel like that's how everyone feels, right? None of us really know what we're doing. So, I don't know. I sent you explain the difference between copy and study for everyone else that's in the inspiration chat. Huh? Myth, try dropping the opacity on your brush. It'll help you bring dimension much more. Alright, let's see. not terrible yeah I think this might be it for this one I'm getting a little tired of it I like I like this zooming out on this I'm like I'm pretty proud I feel like this is something I can look back on and say like hey like I did some studies <laughs> I mean I guess that's factually accurate but I don't know why I never tried this before it's not as hard as I thought it would be, I guess. And I'm excited to keep learning. Alright, what else, what else? <laughs> it looks good from afar, then you've succeeded. Alright, let's see, does it look good from afar? Uh, I don't know if I would say it looks good. I definitely captured some of the spirit of some of these. <laughs> but not bad, I think. Not bad is a good word to describe these. And that's like, I don't know, I'm pretty proud of not bad. Now let's find some more drawings. You think so? It does look not bad. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm a kind of a fan. I love drawing drapery. Your proportions are pretty decent. You just need to spend a little longer to get the complexity of the shadows slash shading. It's done by building them and working with a 30 to 60% opacity brush. Great work. Thank you. Yeah, maybe I'll like really try working the next one. Oh, these are pretty gorgeous. Oh wait, I feel like I've seen this painting before. Jean Honore Frognard? I don't know. I feel bad, I'm like looking like at this list of old masters and their paintings and stuff. I'm like, I don't know any of these people. I'm not very versed in art. This one seems like fun. There's lots of fun drapery action. lazy lately with doing my work and stuff. I don't know, I just like have no drive to go above and beyond on my life. But alas, I feel like we all go through those periods. And just as long as you, you know, stay alive, stay healthy, 
then you can we can get through it. Okay, Jean Honore Fragonard. I feel really bad for mispronouncing this. Probably really bad. I've been enjoying myself. I mean, I've been enjoying myself. I guess I've been just like chilling in my life and not worrying too much about my homework. I mean, I'm doing it, of course, but just not with the same gusto and speed. And I've been procrastinating a lot. Young girl reading. Oh no. It's on the wrong layer. Okay, gotta control X. Oh no, what is this? Let's just erase it. Oh, this is such a struggle. Okay. Let's just erase that. Get on the correct layer and then write it again. I don't know. Oh, are y'all... People are fighting. Spicy action happening. Yes. Select the text with a marquee tool, copy, backspace, delete, then shift, copy. Okay. All right, I feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm so inefficient, but I feel like I've been able to streamline slightly just now, and then I can streamline more later. Okay, what do I do? Let's start off with some big colors. Big colors. Big color. There seems to be like big, big dark over here in the corner with the pillow, big dark on the skirt, big dark in this corner of the room, big dark. Maximum intensity. Wow, this looks terrible, but it's okay. Because it'll either get fixed or not, and you know, like, I'm gonna fix it. Yeah. Okay, big darks are in. Now let's get some big lights. Points under the stream. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I have like these boxes that you can earn. Um, I haven't really made anything to redeem them for, but they'll exist. Uh, stream avatar points are down at the bottom. That's the ones that have to do with the Pokemon. Oh, see? That's not good. I think they're kind of misplaced. Her chin is down here. So I should clean up these edges. Oh man. Her ear is right. It's like right in the middle between those two grid lines. Oh dear. 
This is so stressful. Oh my god. I don't know. Yeah, see the dot? It just keeps coming back. It's like a reminder of how cheap I am and how like the dot probably wouldn't exist if I just spent a little more money. <laughs> that darn dot. kind of looks like an infrared image right now or an x-ray it kind of does like like it's very glowy just like thinking like is this higher or lower than it needs to be is this lighter or darker than it needs to be and then just like trying to like build out from there making our way over. I don't know. I'm like looking like it looks so different somehow looking at it here through this screen and then on a further away monitor I have like the Twitch chat plus whatever up. It just looks worse. <laughs> the importance of the extended pinky indeed. That's quite important, isn't it? Let's see. That's not, that's not it at all. I don't know, that's kind of terrible, but I tried. My eyes tend to focus on the bust since it's in the center of the picture. Oh, do you now, Jay-Z? Is that bust drawing you in? <laughs> that and I'm a perv. Yeah, relatable. I mean, if you see a nice shapely bust right in front of your face, how can you not look? Good luck with your illness. I might have to skip another um, stream because my, my family, we are going to uh, Las Vegas on a vacation. I'm not even quite sure how I would even stream. <laughs> phone vlogs just casually going around I mean I don't think y'all really want to 
gamble your Cintiq and buy a more expensive version. You know what? I'm gonna be in Las Vegas, Sin City, the place of gambling and excess and debauchery. I'm not even 21, so I can't drink or gamble. What am I doing there? Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna watch a bunch of shows, have some fun that way, because I guess I can't have the usual fun. I'm just young and small, annoyingly enough. Yeah, I think we're gonna watch like some Cirque du Soleil things, and I don't know, that, that's probably good. We are actively taking suggestions right now since our vacation's coming up and we don't really know what to watch. Wow, I should just get rid of this whole thing. This looks terrible. Hey guys, Myth coming at you with this hot new Poco phone. Oh, nice. O is my wife and my favorite Cirque show. Okay. Then maybe I'll give it a check out. I'll I'll make a I'll make a I'll make a review on my new Poco phone. I'll be like, hey guys, Myth coming at you from O at in Las Vegas. Here to bring you the latest and greatest shows of on the strip. I don't know, is that what it's called? That's I've literally only heard about like Las Vegas from like movies. Faces is a bit too prominent. Yours looks like the face of an adult, whereas the master's portrait is a child. You made the nose a bit too big when you're drawing again. Don't bring it downwards so much. Mm. I go to Vegas one to three times a year. I was out there in March. Oh, is it that cool? Yeah, maybe... My mom said that, like, Vegas is one of those places that, like, you go to over and over again. So it seems like fun to go try and experience things. I mean, like, yeah, I'm not going to be 21 this time. But I'll be 21 next time, so maybe I can have some more fun. <laughs> Different kinds of fun. Buffets? Is Las Vegas known for its buffets? I don't really know anything other than movies, like I said. <laughs> My mom said like everything was like priced really cheap so that people would like buy it and stay around and gamble but if we don't gamble then we save a lot of money and I'm like here like but I want to gamble though but apparently I'm too young. I feel when you live in old blighty and know nothing about America besides stereotypes. What do you mean? What's old blighty? I won 20 bucks gambling in Vegas. Oh yeah, lots of buffets. There's even a 24 hour pass where you can visit multiple buffets. Give your parents the money to gamble. You get all the winnings. I wanted to! I was like, Mom, like, will you please? And she was like, I don't like gambling, so... I guess I don't get to gamble. I'm sad. <laughs> Hey, this solidifies it. I really need to go to the UK. Jay-Z lives uh, in England. I'm pretty- I think Liz lives in England. You live in- uh, you live in England? I need to have like a UK- um, I need to have an England meetup hangout thing. I've never been to Europe before, so that would be super fun. Find the Willy Wonka slot machine and give her 20 bucks. Make her use it and turn up the sound. Ah! That sounds like fun! Okay, okay, okay. I need to convince her to go do that at least. My poor mother is gonna lose her entire bank account. They all start dancing once the Oompa Loompas come out. It's so funny.
How casinos, we just have miserable slash depressed pensioners and Disney Barbie themed fruit machines. Not as exciting as the Vegas version. Hmm. Yeah, Vegas seems fun. I'm gonna be there in like literally, what, three weeks from here? Hmm. Wow, that's pretty close. I can't believe school's almost over. So much! Oh my god, that's like really spooky. I do better this time? I don't know, I feel like it looks a little better than before. However, I don't know, it kind of looks like some sort of ghostly, um, like skeleton x-ray type drawing still. I don't know why this one looks more like that than the others did. Or maybe it did and I just don't realize. is a bit sharp. describes you like like house of house md is that a good thing or a bad thing Jay-Z. Depends on whether they like House. Yeah, but like, whether or not you like House, isn't he just supposed to like be an ass? And a pain? But I guess some people are into that. I don't know. Maybe. That's funny. House is actually inspired by Sherlock. Is that right? Are all like problem solving, um, like assholes, egotists, drug addicts inspired by Sherlock? Because I believe it. 
It seems to like be too popular of a trope to not come from something like so ubiquitous like that. I was saying like Sherlock not house if you actually read the books he's not written as an asshole he's written more like someone who's autistic oh yeah, yeah. I mean I've read some of the Sherlock Holmes stuff I mean he's just like I don't know he's just very smart uh, very hard to talk to uh, very, uh, drug addicted, read cocaine, and other stuff. Opium and chill. Do I do all the drugs? Legally, I have to say that I am a good child and I do not do drugs. <laughs> I share this on my resume, so, um, hmm. He only uses the drugs when he's at a lull and it has nothing stimulating his brain. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sherlock is an important part of my childhood, so I'm very defensive of my boy. Oh no, I'm not trying to attack your boy Sherlock. I'm just saying. He's smart, but also hard to deal with. Shadows are looking way better in their construction now that you've turned down the opacity down to 40%. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely do feel, feel, something feels good about the way things are going. I'm quite liking it. I also listened to Stephen Fry reading every Sherlock book last year. It was over 70 hours! Oh my god! Whoa, it's Classy Bathrobe! Hey, coming in hot with, a, with that classic black name tag, so I can't read it. this particular study is going. I feel like it is definitely, um, it's in a better place than it was before. <laughs> definitely not near completion, but in a better place. I have readable chat colors on. If you hit the cog under the typing box and turn it on, it changes the shade of people's names so it's readable. Hmm. Her eyes fell out. Oh, poor, poor lady. <laughs> well, that could be like a spooky way to interpret this painting. Like, she's just, like, a poor girl who's trying to read her damn, I don't know, 
Bible or whatever this is. The paintings. Oh dear, it's a dreary smut. She's reading dreary smut. <laughs> dreary smut that I wrote. The painting's gone from a haunted photograph of a grandma in her rocking chair, of a grandma in her rocking chair to a velvety neon style. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this. Whatever it is, it's a little too soft. It definitely needs to be like have hardened edges, but it's kind of dreamy. It's probably lewd romantic poetry. Oh, look at you. That's so dirty. Ooh. That's so uncouth. Ooh. What will the children think? I like that the boobs on yours are larger. <laughs> you know how to please a man. Oh, I know how to please a man. <laughs> uh, anyway. Back to art. Draws a lone wiener. I have done a porn. Oh, tell me more. Yeah, you can bring the opacity up if you want to work on sharper shadows, but like work on the base. I think it's the best way to chip away at it. Oh, I think it's the best way to chip out a away at it and refine. This conversation will go great on your resume. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> lol. Well, yes, it will. I know how to have fun. I'll fit in with the company culture. Woo. Um, or I think. <laughs> Look at us go. Drawing in some extra boobs for like that high quality fun. Nobody send like the transcript of this conversation to my employer, please. Thanks. Ooh, where did we go? Here we are. Extra boob, yes. Triple boob. <laughs> Have you seen Kung Pao? The most important part that differentiates an amateur and a pro is getting tones and shadows consistent. So check the values between the shadows and the source image. How do I do that though? Hmm. In Kung Pao, there's like a triple boob lady. It's great. <laughs> You'd enjoy it. It's like a satire about kung fu movies. Is 
is this your general method to do studies? Because it seems like much easier. It seems so much easier <laughs> of using notepad windows to measure everything. Hmm. There is no face. Who said she had a face? Yeah, I don't really know how to do studies, actually. I went through a couple. This one, I don't know. It turned out bad. This one, I just left it like general like value blobs. This one, I don't really know what happened. I tried my best. And then this one, it's kind of going. This one looks a lot more painterly than the other ones, which I guess is cool. I'm trying not to do any like outlines or whatever, just doing the values. so weird. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sleeping? Sleeping? leave a bit earlier than um, planned because uh, my friend who's supposed to be partying with me tonight and by party I mean like sit around and watch Netflix together Chris hello welcome howdy 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 she's still trapped on campus and I might have to go pick her up because I don't want her to be trapped on campus I want her to be at my party tonight <laughs> so I apologize if that happens but you know sometimes life happens and things just need to be taken care of i can hear the wind and the rain kind of spooky. I don't like it. It means everything's wet and terrible. I gotta head out. Have a great stream party weekend and a great time in Vegas in case I don't catch you till later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. I'm excited for Vegas. Woo! Have you tried just using the dodge and burn tools to add shadows and highlights to your work? Might help a little. No, I don't think I want to use like specific tools for it, right? Like, because like I want to be able to transfer these skills over to when I like do other things like paint IRL or whatever. So, I just want to keep it basic. Numbers on my keyboard? Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, wow, okay. Cool, coolio. Thank you. Have a good have a good night.
At the bottom of the window with the layers is a little black and white yin yang circle thing you can add adjustment layers. Try to add levels of brightness or contrast and play around with the sliders to bring the contrast of the image really high. Then you can see where you went wrong with your values in comparison to the original. Alright, let's see. Let's add in some... Oh no, it made a mask. Let's see. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. won't be needed for another hour so at least plenty of time if the stream lasts that long let's see what other cool fun toys can we do hmm interesting okay so some of it seems kind of close but right here with the book, super bright, super bright. These shapes in the pillows aren't really right. Um, it's too dark here. And it's way too bright here. There seems to be like some miscellaneous shapes over here, which are fine. Oh, interesting, interesting. It needs to be brighter above the lip, brighter on the nose. Wow, it looks so boring now when it was like, boom, intense. Painters use adjustment layers in their post work. It's not cheating, just working smart. A. You can also mess around with colors by the color balance adjustment layer or the gradient map adjustment layers. Gradient maps seem fun. I just never really uh, played around with them too much. Like, I think it was on a cube brush video where he talked about, like, like painting in values and then, like, using um, a gradient map in order to like fill in some of the color as like a base layer and whatever. I always thought that was super cool, but I never really played around with it too much. I haven't really done that much digital art in general. I've just been like trying to work on the fundamentals mostly. either actually they seem to be hiding somewhere Forgot her hair bow. Oh, oh my god, there's like stuff up there. 
I was thinking about it. I was like, oh yeah, there's some stuff there that I should draw, and then I just like forgot. Yikes. This is like high effort. I'm like really tired. I feel like I'm focusing so hard. My poor friend, she's still on campus, like doing homework or something. Oh man. I should probably be working on my homework, shouldn't I? I mean, I never work on Fridays anyway. Homework is for every other day of the week. This is my one day of freedom. Do you watch digital of, videos of other digital artists? It may to help you see their process. <laughs> I do watch you. Uh, but what, like I watch Sarah Tepes, Tepes? I watch, um, I've been watching a lot of watercolor lately, actually. Oh my gosh, can I even think of people? Uh, I watch Cube Brush, Cynics Designs. Um, who else? Uh, Sykra Yasin. Love me some Sykra. Sykra. I don't know. Sykra, he's just... That's a fun boy right there. Like, his stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, frustratingly gorgeous. And then he's always like, you know, it's so easy to just like use this technique or whatever. Like, boom! And then, and then he does it and it's beautiful. And you're like, wow, that looks really useful. And you're like, boom! Oh, wow, that didn't turn out well at all. That's pretty horrible, actually. <laughs> That's my experience with Psychra. weird oh man like apparently like people watch me like in my real life on here it just feels kind of spooky I don't know like it feels like totally fine that like a bunch of random strangers on the internet will watch me streaming this but the second someone IRL is like oh I caught your stream last night I was like whoa that's kind of spooky what did you hear <laughs> It's so strange that I like his art since it's, he's all about sharp lines and I'm all about curves and squishy softness. Bitch, that's nothing? What's nothing? When I was in college, I caught a classmate watching one of my old videos in class. Whoa! Okay, did they watch it because it was you though? Or did they just like randomly find it? Oh, wouldn't that be cool? To like, be popular enough that like just random people that you know will like stumble upon your videos and not even know it's from you. I don't know how they found it, but they knew it was me. Oh, it's kind of, that's so spooky. It's kind of weird how we are we were obsessed with Orwell and being under surveillance like 10 to 20 years ago and now we're all willingly share and broadcast every aspect of our lives. Oh, you're horrified. Be proud of the work that you share online. Right? That's why you share it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was never like I don't know. I guess I probably don't know enough to care that much about privacy concerns. Like, maybe if I understood, like, the implications more, then I would be more horrified. But, like, it's very hard for me to, like, muster that much emotion to care about it. Like, with how much I know now. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm apathetic. Which might be the doom of our society. <laughs>
<laughs> this piece is kind of taking a go, 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 I don't know, go turn. I like it. What does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. I don't know, something like that. I have an ex from a while ago who still to this day stalks me online, but I'm like, meh, I still post shit online. That's, I don't know, man. I've never been stalked before. That doesn't sound like fun at all. Hmm. Is that her forehead points out too much or? Let's see. I feel like she needs a bit more hair. Has anyone else here seen like Legally Blonde the musical? Can we like all agree that it's like really, really good? It's been on my mind lately. I really want to watch it again. He's been getting ballsy again lately. He keeps liking my stuff every couple days and every few months he messages me on Instagram. Ew. Yeah, Huxley wrote a book called Brave New World around the same time as Orwell wrote 1984, and he postulated that it wouldn't be fear and authoritarianism that would be our doom, but apathy and vanity, boring superfluous stuff that caters to our base instincts we willingly submit ourselves. I've given up blocking him because he just deletes and remakes his account with the same name every time. Ew. That dopamine rush, Netflix fast food, op opiumated? Opiumated society stuff. I mean, that's right, right? What is it? Like, evil prevails when good men do nothing or something like that. That's the phrase. He hasn't tweeted about me in two years, though, so that's an improvement. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like... I feel like I've been thinking a lot more about, like, my place in the world and such. And then also about, like, what are the consequences of having all this information about ourselves out there in the world? where it can be like monetized. People use it to sell things to us and make money. And people use it, they can use it to affect the way we think through filter bubbles and they can affect elections and popular opinion about all sorts of stuff. I don't know, that seems important and I feel like I should care. But also, if I do care, I feel like the only um, result from that will be like depression from how I can't do anything about any of this. Like, cause like, and realistically, what is there to do as a common citizen? I don't know. It's... I feel like it's a lot to think about. And then like everyone else, like they're not gonna be convinced to care, even if you do. And you're like, hey guys, this is like super important. Maybe we should start protecting our data and privacy and like whatever. I'll just be like, meh. Like, I like using Facebook. Why are you trying to make me stop? And whatever. I don't know. Whatever it's the case, it's always bad to hide from the truth, even if it's a bad truth. Mm. Mm. That'd be my, me saying these people online push that I should buy more things made of plastic, so I guess I have to, but no, I make the choice not to be influenced by them. Hmm. I don't know. Like, everything affects us, right? Like, we can't live in a bubble of our own thoughts. I don't know how to feel. But the thing is, like, now that you're woke, right? Like, you're like, oh, plastic, bad. Um, then what? You can only affect yourself. It's like nobody else really cares. Like, how much of an impact does your one person make? Like, of course, like, you're doing what is good for your morality, right? You're like, this is what's right, so that's how I'm going to act, regardless of how much of an impact it makes on the world. Like, that's what you think is right. I don't know. It's just all kind of a mess. Critical thinking is a skill that most people seem to be lacking. 
No, I'm not saying that you shouldn't bother at all, right? Like, that's not my point here. I'm just sad. <laughs> I'm just being sad. Like, it seems like a really, like, it seems really upsetting, right? You're like, this is so important to me that I'm going to alter my entire lifestyle from the way I was raised in order to, like, do something that's better for our planet. And then you try to tell other people and like get them motivated and like excited and then they like don't even care. Like that just sounds like really heartbreaking. Uh, I've actually managed to get several people to reduce their waste and a couple to even turn to minimalism by simply educating them. Our worlds are entirely our own creations within our heads. If you improve the world within your head, then you'll be happier. Maybe that's right. I need to stop. Maybe I need to stop thinking about that so much and just try to go for my own improvement like through being a better citizen of the world and through being a better citizen of my community then I'll be happier at least <laughs> and then maybe everything else will fall into place oh that's an interesting perspective I don't I never really thought about it that way I don't know I feel like I'm at that point in my life I'm young, but not too young anymore. And I'm starting to think about like, what am I? And like, where is my place in the world? And I feel really grateful that I can do it with you guys here, helping me along. All right, let's check some of our values. Myth, you're aware of how bad my mental health is, but since starting to take better care of the world around me, it started to help my mental health. Well, I'm really glad. That makes me really, really happy. Okay. I think it's definitely better shaped than before. It looks a lot closer now, which is cool. area is still conspicuously dark and like this little curly fold here it looks really cute so I'm sad I don't have it I think those are the two areas I'm gonna work on next if I do what you were just saying you do it would plummet me back into a spiral of chronic depression. You have to make the choice to change your way of thinking. Wait, what do you mean? What did I say I do? I'm just lost. I'm just lost and confused. And I'm trying to, like, I don't know, portray the way that I think so that you guys can, like, tell me I'm horrible or something. And then maybe I can change the way I am. Is that bad? I don't know. I'm just lost. I'm a lost little lamb. Hmm. I mean, perhaps I have to change the way I think, right? That seems to be the prerogative here. But like, what do I change it to? What's better? Clearly I'm not like super happy with the way I'm thinking now, otherwise I wouldn't be looking for a change. I wouldn't have all these questions and this confusion, but how do you seek out like a better ideology than what you currently have? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I feel like it's it's coming along. I feel like I've been able to be patient and just keep working at it. Just be open to new ideas, read and experience a lot. Don't try to rush it. 
Oh dear, okay. Education, not school education, real world education. If you're trying to figure out who you are, then maybe following what other people say won't lead you where you want to be. And that, that sounds like it makes sense. Try to be open to new ideas, read and experience a lot, don't try to rush it. And also being present to the moment through exercise, meditation, and yoga helps. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, I just like... I feel like I shouldn't like put this off, you know, and say like, you know, like it's not important who I am or what my dreams are. I just need to like keep my head down, keep working, work, 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 make money, be successful, whatever, whatever. And then one day I'll look back 20 years later, like, what have I done with my whole life? Like, why did I never try to find, like, what will fulfill me in this lifetime? And for people like you and me, books are good. Books are about finding things like how the brain works, how emotions are formed, and how the world around us affects our brain's work is good. Hmm. Indeed. I haven't been reading very much lately. I think maybe that is part of my path of growing. Yeah, that would be a smart idea. Do some more reading. Most libraries these days have an app for audiobooks where you rent an audiobook. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Oh dear, okay, I missed a little bit. Audiobooks are useful when you don't have that much time, to, a lot of time to sit down and read. Yeah, I guess like, actively seek to understand through reading. Try to understand other people who are major parts of your life and that will help you understand yourself. I feel like I've definitely been doing that. Like, I don't know, it's been, I've had, some good experiences trying to understand people lately and that's been feeling pretty good <laughs> I don't know people are hard people are difficult people don't really open up it takes effort to coax out a person's inner secrets <coughs> I'll send you a list of some books I think you'll find interesting if you want. They're not stories, though. They're nonfiction. Though, you know I'll recommend fiction books in a heartbeat, too. Hey, yeah, send it over. Um, there's a spot in my heart right now for, for some books. And I want to fill it up with something that my dear friend Jay-Z suggests. Oh dear. Let's see. On the note of rushing into a career, here's a great article on an advertising executive. An advertising executive who spent his whole life in the industry working at firms like BBDO and Saatchi and Saatchi, riddled with terminal cancer, asked the question, was all worth it? A fragile look into the creative temperament and whether you can marry the creative with the commercial. Was it all worth it? Well, of course not. It turns out it was just advertising. There was no higher calling, no ultimate prize, just a lot of faded yellowing newsprint and old video cassettes in an obsolete format I can't even play anymore, even if I was interested. Oh yeah, oh yes, and a lot of frame certificates and little gold statuettes, a shitload of empty Prozac boxes, wine bottles, a lot of gray hair, and a tumor of indeterminate dimensions. Oh, that sounds really tragic and interesting but like, so tragic. Is that how I'm gonna end up? I'm gonna think I found my calling in life 
and doggedly pursue it until my dying days when I realized that none of it was worth it and I should have just cherished the time I had with like my loved ones or something. This like, oh no. It sounds like a way my life could go though. Not gonna lie. Talking is always good. Other people have an impact on who you are. Talking to anyone who has had a major impact on you slash has been a big part of your life will help you discover who you are. I've been doing a lot of talking and that's been a lot of fun. I just feel like, you know, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to find time. And it's hard to open up. And like, just life is hard. Life is very hard and very long. Let's see, where's the layer? Oh, is it this one? Okay, there's the color layer. Yeah, let's give this a coloring in. Why don't we try? This is like a deep goldeny kind of yellow. Also, if you want to enjoy your life, I'd say spend it doing something you love and don't work in a career that you don't enjoy. I mean, I need money though, right? If I want to be an artist, I need money. Because otherwise, I won't be able to afford, like, all these art supplies and, like, afford the time to, like, spend practicing. Have you ever done a Vermeer painting before? I have not. Maybe I should go for like the classic girl with the pearl earring type look. on that opacity. Find happiness in at least one part of your life. It can be a career, a hobby, partner, etc. Hmm, that's so difficult, isn't it? Because, because careers aren't guaranteed. Like, you can always get fired. Partners are even less guaranteed. People leave you in life. That's sort of like what triggered all this, actually. I broke up with my boyfriend. And... Life just seems, it seems a bit colder and lonelier now. I don't know, it's all complicated. It's hard for me to see like where the good in life is. I don't know, what makes life good? What makes life good? I think, I think part of what makes life good is self-fulfillment, finding those things that you love and having fun doing it. Should be happy alone first. Yeah, ain't that the truth? It is the truth, it is the truth. I believe you, I believe you. I just, life is very hard and very lonely and very sad at times. I told you once you were single, it'd be difficult to adjust to at first, but you can use this time to find who you are. Humans are evolved to be interdependent. Can't help putting your happiness on others to some extent. But you can try to build a healthy ecosystem of people around you who are genuine and fun. If that made you happy, then why did you leave? Did he or she cheat? No, it wasn't like that. Well, okay. I guess it's just like, it didn't make me happy anymore. But there was still comfort, right? There was comfort in knowing that like I had a guaranteed future and that I would never have to be alone, even if it didn't make me super happy at the moment. But I realize now that like that's that shouldn't be enough, right? You shouldn't settle for I I don't have to be alone anymore. Great, let's stay in a relationship that doesn't really make me all that happy. Like that shouldn't be the goal. <laughs> You know, it should be to have like true joy to see this person rather than just like a feeling of 
Woo, not lonely anymore. Time to get my daily social interaction in. I don't know if I'm describing this all that well, but I guess those were my feelings towards the end. And I felt like it just wasn't happiness that I felt anymore. More just like it took away loneliness, you know, or not. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sounding super edgy and sad. dreams I don't really know what they are because so much of my future was like oh we're gonna go live together in this place and we're gonna get these we're gonna get a cat and like a dog and we're gonna do this together and that together and I feel like I don't know what I want anymore hmm. or at least I know that I've always wanted like to make this YouTube channel work out. That's something I know I want. The only problem with working in Multiply is the shadows stay kind of monochrome. Maybe worth trying out different blending modes on the color layers. Yeah, I think I'll just like stick with this for now, though. Or, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll do it later. I don't have dreams. Never had. Never have. I've gone through that with my boyfriend. There was a long period of time when he didn't make me happy. I figured, though, that talking about it and making huge changes with us made me fall for him again. It might be too late for that now. Maybe next time for you. I mean, it was, it was a long time coming, I think. Like... There was a lot of unhealthiness in that relationship. And like when he realized that like I felt this way, he started acting in like some pretty toxic ways and like starting to gaslight me and all sorts of stuff. And now after the breakup, he's been acting in like even more unhealthy ways. And I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe that was the right decision, you know? Oh, it's time to duel. Let's see, I'm gonna... Oh. Oh no. Rip. <laughs> the ditto one. leave soon because my friend needs picking up from school but I'll try to finish as much of this as I can thank you have fun at work.
a shade than a purple. Okay. All right. I feel it. I can take criticism. Let's see. Add some red. Remember to look between the images often to make sure you're on target. Yeah, it just feels hard. I don't know. Like, I'm just like, none of this looks right. I don't know what's happening. Is the general gist of my feelings right now. Oh! Wow, I feel like that's really coming together after I put that in. And then I need some dark green to go back here. Oh, I think I have to go right now, actually. The part of the pillow has refracted yellow light on it from the wall. Mm. Okay, that's true. Yeah, I might have to finish this next time because my friend needs me to pick her up for our little party thing and she's all trapped in the rain. It's horrible. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is a lot of fun. Wow, it's actually been a while. All right, thank you guys so much for coming out. I learned a lot and hopefully I can keep going on my path to find inner peace or something. Thank you guys for talking with me. See you guys.